Hello there folks. This quick video today is going to show you how to use the new OPC UA client and server method to share data from multiple Redline HMIs back to one uh, particular Redline device or other OPC UA devices. So what I have here on my desk is a, a number of HMIs from my uh, training classes and uh, if I go to uh, particularly look at a web page for instance here's one that's uh, currently up and running and I'll make it a little smaller and this one, I'm going to change the room. So I've got here a HMI up and running. I've actually got about 10 of them on my desk. But uh, uh, this one's up and running from a class, one of my uh, regular classes I teach. And we'd like to take this data from this HMI and share it, for instance, with a big 15-inch HMI I have on my desk. So what I'm going to do here is on the uh, sub-HMI, this guy here, I'm going to go to Communications on the left. And I'm going to expand, let me make this move it a little bigger so you guys can see it. I'm going to expand the services tree here. And in the services tree, uh, there's a thing down below here called OPCUA server. So I'm going to turn on this HMI to serve its data up to any other client or master HMI. So if I go here, I'm going to turn on or enable the server, say yes. I'm going to leave all this here by default for this example. If I simply go to the data tab, for instance, if I go to the data tab, and if I go over to the right side and go to data tags on the right side, let's just say I grab the whole directory of room one tags to be shared in here. I'm just going to drag them, place them over here like so, and that's about all I'm going to do on the server side. So I'm going to save this program here and go ahead and download it to that local HMI. So now that I've downloaded, if I go back to the web browser, you'll see it comes back up, go here to the T room. And it's working away, no big deal. So now on the other HMI, the master one, this guy right here, let me uh, see if I can maybe shrink this down because it seems to be getting bigger than the. There we go. So on this guy, if I go over to the left hand side and go to communications on the left, and if I happen to click under the network tab, if I click on protocol one, hit the pick button here and I'm going to slide down to the manufacturer or the particular driver I'm looking for one called OPC UA I'm going to click on the OPC UA and click the client button here and click OK and now if you look under the left I've got this development one here if I click on this guy I can rename this HMI underscore 10 for instance because that's what I'm talking to and that means I'm going to change this last octet here to be 10 Leave everything else alone, except for here's the difference. This particular button down here where it says auto configure, I'm going to hit this button here. It's going to go out and sniff on the network. And let's say that I just call this, uh, I'll just go to default, some name, I'll override something else I was doing for testing. So now it's configured uh, OPC UA connection to it. So if I go to data tags here, for instance, and let's say that uh, I want to create a tag here, uh, I want to look at the temperature that's coming into that particular tag over there. So I'll just call it temp F. Hit the pull down. Here's that HMI 10. Click here. Notice all these objects. If I go into the V1 directory, go into the tags, and look, there's a tag here called temp F. If I click on that, that'll create that there. And if I want to see this on the screen, I'm just going to go to display pages, and I'll just quickly drag this guy out here like this. I'll make this a little bigger so you all can see it. Boom, boom, boom. There we go, and I'll save this program, and I'll quickly download. Before I download, let me go open up. Here's the web browser coming from that guy. I'll make it a little smaller, and we're going to go ahead and hit the download button here in Crimson, right here. So you can see you get the X, and while I'm waiting, there you go, and you can see here's the one from the other original, and I don't have the formatting done. However, if I squeeze that thermocouple that's on the HMI, you can see that number changes accordingly. And of course, that student turned on alarm. She heard alarm. But anyway, that's how easy it is to use the OPC UA to send your tag data uh, between the two. So I just thought I'd quickly make a video showing that. Uh, if you got any questions, uh, please let us know. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.